Okay, uh, I've had some requests to show how do you uh, uh, polish your parts. And uh, what we've got here is the piece that we've been working on. And we've got some areas that are that are on this. There's a little trash, some little fish eye, different things. All in all, this, came, this piece came out pretty smooth. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take some. I like to start off um, with 1500. Now, some people like to do 800, 1200, 1500, 2000. Just keep in mind that every single step, you need to go finer and finer and finer. And what you're doing is you are sanding out each previous set of scratches from the, uh, the coarser sandpaper. So, since this piece looks pretty shiny as it is, I'm going to start off with 1500. And what we're going to do here is we're going to sand, and uh, you can get a plastic block uh, to keep it flat. Uh, this is just a rubber block, and what we do is we put it in, inside of here, and the goal is, this is called block sanding. And what we're doing is that we're just wet, wet sanding the surface, and we're making sure that we're getting a nice flat surface. We're making all the pieces, all the, all the clear coat flat. And by doing this, what we want to do is we want to rinse out uh, the waste that we are that we are producing by sanding this. We want to sand this out. Rinse this, rinse this out of the grain of the sandpaper. I'm going fast on this just for time's sake. And I go for my 1500. You can take and dry this off. And you can see if you've got any more problem areas in here. They could be, uh, it could be ripples or dimples, uh, it could be orange peel. But as long as you've got a nice flat surface, uh, you're, you've, you've accomplished what you're trying to do here, you can see the dull, the dull spot over here on this. We try to get this thing as slick as we can. Can we see how smooth this is? We got a couple little areas right here, a little fish eye, a little fish eye, and that was from the previous job. Uh, fish eye sometimes is hard to go away because it's an oil and uh, if it's in the paint it's hard to get it to go, go away. Next thing I'm going to do is take some 2000 grit or finer 2400 and then I'm going to sand that area. Then what I'm doing is I'm sanding out the previous scratches sanding this really quick and I'm just using my hand. I'm not using a, a block. You can use a block. What happens when you use your hand, your fingers can actually cause a little gouges. So you want to make sure that you kind of go in a back and forth X pattern. Uh, use the palm. Make sure that you're just not putting any more gouges in. It's going to be really hard to do this with 2,000 grit sand, sandpaper. All right, we're going to take this, dry this off. Now we're going to get into our compounds. These are even smaller uh, liquid. We have a compound that we're going to use on this product, and we're still sanding basically. This is a, a compound, a fine grit compound. And I have a special pad on my uh, buffer that I use for my compound. And this, this pad, I only use for compound because we want to use the next pad which is even finer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come through here. Can you get in on that closer to here? What I'm doing now is I'm taking out those other sand marks, sand paper. always keep your buffer moving. 
if you stop, you can, uh, you can burn your paint. You also need to be careful of these areas in here. It gets, uh, it gets really hot. If you get on this up on this edge, you can take the paint off just like that. I don't have the buffer going really, really fast. I've got it set on like two and a half right now. You can see it can go really fast. So I have it set on about two, two and a half. And I'm working slow. Julio, come over from this angle right here. Can you, can you start to see the reflection on that? I'm going to work that piece until I get it shiny. Now I'm going to change my pad here and I'm going to put on my fine pad. And I'm going to use a polishing compound next. The other was a buffing compound. This is a polishing compound. And this is the next finer step. So we're going to take that. And we're going to take out those scratch marks that the polishing compound has put in it. Now, you can spend 30 minutes on this. You can spend an hour and a half. You can spend three days. Depends on what type of quality you want to have come out of your part. The more you do, the prettier it gets. As you can see, you can see that reflection coming up right now. You see I'm working this back and forth. I'm not staying in one area too much. Back and forth, back and forth. And that's basically how you wet sand and polish your finished product. Can you see the shine on that, Julio? Oh yeah, really well. I hope that helps.